I know you're still trying to adapt to the massive draft changes we saw on SmackDown, and I'm honestly still feeling the effects of that wink. Are we alive? But we got 19 more superstars drafted on social media. You know, the ones that WWE don't give a shit about. That's a lot of names. Now, obviously it's not AJ Styles, Becky Lynch, or Eva Marie, but we are seeing a few interesting changes to the WWE product. Now, it's quite interesting that on this list we see John Morrison. John Morrison is being drafted with names like Reggie, who's actually advertised as the main draft pick, and Drake Maverick. I mean, I just can't deal with this John Morrison disrespect anymore. You know I'm gonna, you know what I'm about to do? By God, I'm about to complain. I don't get this. It's not like it's really that hard to read more names on WWE television. It's not like we're getting some big time entertainment right here. If you're gonna be that boring, just read all the names. I wanna know where Akira Tozawa is gonna end up. So let's talk about these draft picks. Monday Night Raw selects Reggie. So he's staying on Monday Night Raw, I don't think that's a big difference. He's a 24-7 champion, we're seeing these segments on both shows, but honestly, lately, it's more of a raw thing. Everything barely entertaining is a raw thing. Akiro Tozawa, another 24-7 championship enthusiast. He's staying on Raw, so no changes here. Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz. So these two are going to Monday Night Raw. It's gonna be interesting. You know, like I've said many times, I'm pretty sure their push is over. But it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of a, you know, storyline Monday Night Raw is gonna give to these guys. If WWE do wanna push Apollo Crews, I can already see the guy winning the United States Championship and roasting America all the time. Never seen that before. Do drop. She's staying on Raw too, so I wouldn't be surprised if Eva Marie is gonna stay on Raw. Now, Eva Marie is actually not on that list. She's a big superstar, we need to see Eva Marie drafted on television. Drake Maverick, another 24-7 championship lover, stays on Raw, as he should, no changes there. John Morrison, I'm actually shocked. Not with the fact that he's staying on Raw, I'm shocked that they revealed John Morrison's draft pick on social media with these kind of names. Now, no disrespect, but John Morrison is a pretty decorated WWE superstar. And I think if I would see John Morrison getting drafted to SmackDown, to me, that would be a pretty big deal. It basically tells me that a push is not coming anytime soon, especially since The Miz is pretty busy. T-Bar. So T-Bar is staying on Monday Night Raw, but his partner, is actually not. Nia Jax. Anything to make me suffer watching when I draw. So, we didn't get that many changes. So, Nia Jax stays on Raw, which is probably a good thing. She's gonna be in Ryrie against Shayna Baszler. And with the right push, I'm not saying that Nia Jax couldn't actually, you know, be uh, beneficial to the roster. It's just that WWE have no idea what to do with her. Our truth it seems like every draft pick for Monday Night Raw is a 24-7 championship enthusiast. Now, I'm not sure if that's legit or not, whether that's official or not, but it seems like 24-7 championship might become Raw exclusive title. And it only makes sense because the show is longer. Of course, it doesn't add a lot of entertainment. It absolutely does not. But I guess it makes sense. Alpha Academy, a great addition to Monday Night Raw's tag team division. And Zelina Vega, who was a part of SmackDown, now she's on Monday Night Raw, which is a good thing. That's a really good thing. I think she has a lot of charisma, pretty good in the ring. If any division needed a makeover, it's definitely the women's division. Now let's talk about SmackDown. Only six draft picks. So Aliyah is going to SmackDown. Not really familiar with her work, but again... Like I've said, the women's division is suffering. The women's division is suffering really hard. So I can't really complain that we're getting new women. Drew Gulak. Now that's interesting. Another 24-7 championship enthusiast, but he has to say goodbye to the most prestigious WWE championship after the Saudi Arabia title. It seemed like at one point he was getting a push, but then he started chasing the 24-7 championship. 
maybe he's gonna be treated a lot more seriously right now because he's the only one 24 7 championship lover who's on a different brand mace so like i've said the retribution is no more and that's a very good thing there's no way people could take these guys seriously as a tag team after what happened and now you know you look at these guys especially mace the guy definitely has the look he has a total main eventer look he could be the guy i'm not sure how talented he is but by, by, by the way he looks he could be the guy so i'm really happy that these two are no longer a tag team now we can get a two different gimmicks hopefully a name change so that is a very good thing hopefully it's gonna be a success mansoor and mustafa ali both are drafted to SmackDown as a team, so we're just getting a bit of a makeover in the tag team division, not that big of a deal, but they're gonna stay a tag team, which is a good thing, I like these guys. And Tony Storm, she's staying on SmackDown, now I'm not really that familiar with her work, but she always seemed to me like a big deal, like a, you know, female you can build your women's division around. Lately... Ever since she got to SmackDown, we haven't seen much of her, like anything important at all. So I really hope that's about to change because she has a lot of potential. So these are the 19 extra superstars that got drafted on social media. Money Nitro selects Reggie, Akiro Tozawa, Alpha Academy, Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz, Dewdrop, Drake Maverick, John Morrison, T-Bar, Nia Jax, R-Truth and Zelina Vega. Smackdown picks Aliyah, Drew Gulak, Mace, Mansoor, Mustafa Ali and Tony Storm. So these are the draft picks we saw on social media on Talking Smack I think. I'm not really sure I just saw the results on Facebook on, of all places. I don't go to Facebook. I just miss the good old days when we saw general managers picking talent. If you're gonna call the show the draft show do the draft, not draft 8 superstars. The whole concept definitely needs to change. I mean, it's sports entertainment. Do the entertainment. That's not entertaining. Like I've said, I've seen many people saying that the draft lottery was silly, but it was entertaining. Two people, one from Raw, one from SmackDown, fighting. The winner gets a draft pick. It was fun. Then we saw a battle royal and you get like three picks or something like that. The whole show was about the draft. We're getting that once a year. Make sure we're getting some entertainment. But anyway, these are your draft picks. Thank you for watching the video. The Great One. Peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure.